Good afternoon, I'm Tiro, and this is a video tutorial on how to use Virtual Dub for video capture. Please note this is not how to use video Virtual Dub for editing, just how to use your capture card with it. Alright, and so what we do is bring up Virtual Dub, then we go to File, Capture Avi. And Normally there's nothing there such as this, so we go to device and we pick our device. Here's our capture card, it would include other cards or digital cameras or webcams. So we will choose this one. And you can't see anything because it does it in overlay mode, so while I can see Crystal Chronicles, you just see some green. Next, for settings, we can go to preview instead of overlay so it's faster and then we get to choose our deinterlacing thing usually progressive with the odd or even is fine or you know fast enough doesn't look good but it'll ease up in capturing now the first thing you want to do is set your file so you go to file and set the capture file and you'll just do test if you do not do this every time you try to capture virtual dub will give you an error and you don't know why Virtual Dub does support, you know, increase uh, file increments, such as with the brackets, but it doesn't do it automatically. So here you can see I can increase the numbers, but um, I have to do that manually, so be careful if you record. Alright, now, let's see. Other things we can do. Okay, here's stuff for the TV tuner and devices. Nothing important. Video. Has all our video situations. For the display, you have overlay and preview. Overlay is good if you just want to use virtual dub to watch your video. Preview if you want to record. And let's see. Here we can choose our sources. So tuner, composite, or S video. Here are the capture preview pins and all that good stuff. And the capture filter for the uh, normal configurations. Tuner, um, if you want to set channels, levels for more information. What I find useful here is the cropping feature. I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but in most capture devices, they usually add sidebars because that's how the video is transposed. And so to have a crop here, you can actually um, save you know memory and computation space by removing it while you record. Different devices will have different sidebars, and you may not want to do this and just do it in post, but it's an additional feature Virtual Dub has. Swap fields is a swap for deinterlacing, and we have other filters and such to add. Let me move this up. And here, under compression, we can choose our codexes. They're not as lot as um, compared to other recording or capture devices, or yeah, recording software, but Luckily, it has Huff YUV and Lagrith, so we're fine there. Let's see. And that is all. Uh, video source. Let's see. Other information. Custom formatting. At the very bottom, we can choose our settings. This is similar to Virtual VCR, where it says save it as this instead of using the capture pin. It's always better just to set it with your capture pin instead of using something custom, but if you can't get it right, it's, some, it's another option to try. Here under audio, we have our audio settings such as actually, uh, you know, record from audio, what sources we're going to record from. This one here is for the, you know, capture card as opposed to what windows we're going to mix. Um, no compression is best, uh, raw format, all that good stuff. And here's capture with various settings and such. What I like here is called test video capture in that it will simulate capturing and you'll see all the statistics here. So you can test out your settings before you actually waste disk space. And if you actually want to capture, you just click here or press F5X6 and you hit escape to stop. Other things under here, you have these buttons where you can actually choose your recording information. So, you know, 16-bit uh, stereo, 10 frames 
per second. I'm doing that because this is a record to record, which you're not supposed to do. Let's see, does that reflect here? Yes, it does. And that's basically it. So, until next time, I'm Tiro, and have fun making videos. See ya!